Welcome, Army fans. This is Joe Icono with GoBlackKnights.com, along with Army defensive coordinator, Nate Woody. Coach Woody, how has uh, spring practice been going in your assessment so far? It ain't really good. We, we've been able to get uh, younger guys uh, a lot of reps, and uh, not only in practice, but uh, but in the scrimmage as well. And, uh, you know, making those uh, – Making those reps where you know they mean something. It, it can be situations or or uh, uh, or just uh, you know against the the the, the ones. You know we might uh, have uh, you know the, the threes on defense going against the the ones on offense. Sometimes sometimes it's uh, threes against threes and uh, twos against twos. But uh, but but basically we're getting a lot of reps and getting guys to where they can develop and uh, you know get uh, get good competition. So. That's uh, that's been really good for us. Uh, our offense is is uh, you know just doing a great job of, of running the football, and and uh, you can find out you know who your 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 players that, that have a toughness about them, you know, and and uh, and evaluate that uh, you know as well. So it's been going uh, going really well. Great. So in a, in a spring like this, where you know you do lose a decent amount of productivity on defense from last year, uh, but you have a, a number of returning players. Is the focus more to get the younger guys more reps uh, and, and kind of evaluate that talent a little more? Or is more the focus to try and figure out kind of heading into fall camp, maybe what your two deep will look like? Yeah, I, I think getting an evaluation on everybody is what is what's important for us. You know, we're, we're putting in uh, you know new defenses uh, uh, most of the time. You know, just to uh, to get the guys to where they have enough defense to where they can, you know, uh, you know, not get out schemed, but um, but just really seeing the guys that, that that can execute the fundamentals. You know, guys that that uh, you know can can beat a reach block or or squeeze a down block or or uh, you know keep play with their pads out and their shoulders square and you know those are the things that that uh, that you'll build off of in in um, in the end anyway. So the guys that that. Uh, you know, physically and, and uh, technically can, can play, you know, with what you're looking for, you can put in any kind of defense. So there are uh, uh, a lot of, a lot of young guys are, are, are opening some eyes of the coaches. So that's uh, that's a good deal. And so let's talk about some of that young talent. Um, you know, I know it, this is always a tough question because you're, you're probably going to leave some people out because it's hard to think of everybody I know sometimes. But who do you really see that's uh, really stepped up, maybe who the fans might not be familiar with or hasn't had a lot of playing time that you really see coming on that you're excited about for the next couple of years? Yeah, there's no doubt. Probably I'll leave somebody out, but uh, but right now, just just guys that, that come to my mind. Jack Balsam is is uh, is just done an awesome job up front as a defensive end. He's uh, he's picking up the, the 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 technique work really well, and and he's doing it fast. And uh, you know when he's you know when you got somebody six four six five and and they're playing fast, then uh, you know that that can that can add to your defense really quick. Um, you know, Dylan Stowers is. So is another one that that uh, that I saw him coming on, you know, late last uh, last season, and really thought uh, he was moving around well, and and uh, you know just just has a, a really good knack for uh, for what we're doing defensively. He's uh, he's another defensive end, and that uh, you know that'll give us uh, that'll give us some good depth, and and you know maybe those guys you know competing for uh, you know for two deep you know reps. Um, I think at uh, at the nose tackle, you know, Cody Cody Winokur has uh, has stepped up and and showed the ability to to give us a little bit of knockback at uh, at that position. That nose position is really important to us. That's uh, that's where it all starts for us. And and uh, you know, you know, I'm, I'm I'm not ready to 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 say that that uh, you know that, that he's the, the 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 best in the country. But what he has done is is taken a uh, a step forward and and given us. You know, good quality reps. As has uh, another Cody, uh, Cody Harris Miller, and 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 uh, you know he's he's a young guy that that uh, is hard to move. You know, he's uh, he can demand a double team and and not uh, not get driven back into the linebackers. And uh, you know he's he's gonna he's gonna buy for some some reps as well. I think uh, you know Eric Ford has has been injured, but came back uh, today and and got some reps and. It looks fast and you know, it looks uh, looks quick. He got into some ball games last year, but but uh, maybe it was just a little bit before his time last year. And uh, now he's those uh, those reps have have uh, 
and it bode well for him. I think uh, I think he's going to step up and, and and do really well for us at uh, inside linebacker position. You know, um, you know, Baylor Newsom is is getting some reps, and and uh, uh, Noah Nixon is is getting some reps. But uh, you know, I, I thought last year that that Noah would be a guy that that would really step up, and and uh, you know, he's got size, he's got speed, and he's got toughness, and he's coming along. He's showing some some good stuff. Um, you know, and, and, uh, you know, maybe the, the guy that, that, uh, that has really stood out to me, uh, is not so much a, a young guy. He's been around for a while, but, but, uh, just haven't seen really what we wanted to see out of him until, until recently. And, and, uh, that's Aaron Bivens. And I think, uh, I think he's, he's really filled the alley well for us in, mm-hmm. in the option game, uh, had some. And uh, it's taking the kind of angles that that uh, that you win with, and he's got uh, he's got good speed. So, really like uh, like how he's uh, stepping up right now and playing. Good stuff. And you know, I know the Army offense right now, especially this year, is uh, focused pretty heavily again on the uh, triple option game and the running game. Uh, so, might not get a ton of experience. Uh, in past D other than maybe situationally for your corners, but having to replace Jabari Moore and Cam Jones at corner. Um, who do you have at the cornerback position that you really like what you've seen this spring so far? I'll tell you what, Jabari and, and Cam have played an awful lot of snaps for us and and uh for a long time. They they uh, they've been out there and, and they've done a good job and, and last year they did a great job. And uh you know to lose those two and, and Bo Nicholas Paul. And Bo uh, Nicholas Paul, yeah. And just did a, a tremendous job for us. Big play after big play, uh, very steady corner, and and uh, you know one that that uh, that helped us win football games. So uh, losing those three corners is 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 going to be tough. But uh, I think Coach Dixon is is uh, has done a good job of of recruiting the guys at, at that uh, at that spot that you know we'll uh, we'll just reload. You know I think Donovan Platt is uh, is a very skilled athlete that that uh, uh, you know you can. You can do a lot of things with with him. Whether you, whether you want to just lock up to his side and and uh, you know rotate uh, your coverage away from him, uh, Jaden Mays is another one that that uh, you know has shown a, a lot of good things here in these first uh, you know seven or eight practices. So we're excited about uh, about what we'll get done at that position. It might take uh, it might take a little while as far as uh, as far as the reps go. You know before they're uh, you know before they catch up to the experience that, that, uh, that Jabari and Cam had and, uh, and Bo Nick. So we'll, uh, but we like what we see right now out of those guys. Yeah. And I know you, you know, you've told me um, in some past interviews that we've had that, you know, you love when the front four can get to the quarterback. So you can, you know, if you, if you need to, you can drop seven in coverage. Um, and, and you mentioned a lot of the defensive linemen already. Anybody who you see on the D line who's really got the ability to apply some some serious pressure to the quarterback? Yeah, I I, I like this. I like uh, I like our edge guys. We've got uh, you know the the field end for us. You know is is uh, right now running with the ones is uh, uh, Trey Sophia, and he's long. He's fast. He played uh, played a stand up position for us at Dog last year. But uh, but putting him to the field and, and letting him come off the edge will give us a, a, a better pass rush. And then, uh, you know, Ella Madozzi is, uh, is a, a very, very talented, quick, uh, explosive athlete that, uh, at the dog. And when you get two of them, you know, opposite of one another, then, then uh, you got a pretty good shot at, at getting good pressure on the quarterback. So uh, if you just got one, then, then the offense may just slide their protection that way. But uh, if you got two of them, then uh, – you know, good. Uh, you can probably get good good pressure with four guys. And um, you know, Coach Woody, your defense has been very, very much, pretty much shut down uh, in their ability to stop the other two academies over the past couple of years. Uh, you know, barring the weird last couple minutes of the uh, the Army Navy game last year, but barring that, the defense has been pretty much lights out against the other two academies. Um, do you attribute that just to the number of reps you guys get against the option every week or kind of what has been the secret for this defense in, in terms of just their stellar play in the Academy games over the past three, four years? I think everybody here understands, you know, their, their assignment and, and their role in, in stopping the defense. And, and I think, uh, 
and you referred to the last two minutes of that uh, Navy game, I thought we stopped them. You know, I thought uh, before you the did ball, stop them. That's ball, true. <laughs> uh, uh, Austin Hill gave a great speech about, uh, you know, we're going to need to win this on the goal line. And, and uh, uh, you know, during the, 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 the course of the game, you know, maybe I made, uh, you know, a, a call down there in the red zone earlier that, that might have given up a, a touchdown. I wish I had back, you know, instead of bringing the pressure on that uh, on that that deal. I wish that that uh, that I'd let us just play our red zone defense. And, uh, you know, this last uh, last couple of minutes in that ball game, uh, I think we all felt incredibly confident about winning down there on the goal line. And as long as nothing got over our head, we felt like that was, uh, you know, that we would be able to keep them out. We had good practices leading up to that uh, where, you know, once once the field shrank, we were really good at, at the coverage part of it. Uh, we married up, uh, you know, our coverage well to to their routes, and uh, and then we were were very good on on the goal line as far as uh, you know stopping the run. So I think we we tried to play to our strength, and and it uh, and it worked. You know, the guys yep. uh, just did what uh, what I asked them to do, and you know that um, you know that worked out well for us. I think that that any academy game that that we play, um, we believe in ourselves. No matter what uh, what the other team has done, or who's favored, it just doesn't matter to us. We believe in ourselves, and the guys believe in one another, and, and they play as a team, as a unit, and that nobody cares who gets the uh, you know the the uh, you know the glory. You know they're 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 all understand their assignment and they play well, and and uh, uh, you know fortunately we've we've uh, we've won you know a good bit of those ball games against our rivals. Absolutely. Um, and the next question, I, I asked Cal Caleb Fortner the same question a little earlier. Um, the Army defense, really the last two years, has come on really strong in November and December. Um, not to say they haven't been good the rest of the season, but just you could see the constant improvement throughout the year, which I know is what you want. Um, how do you, what can you do this year to try and ensure that they come out of the gate a little stronger and a little more consistent, you know, last year, ULM game, notwithstanding, that was a great defensive effort, but uh, you know, there were some ups and downs throughout September and October. So is there anything you can emphasize with the team to try and make sure that, that the level they were playing at in November and December, they, you know, and I know a lot of that's just reps and experience. I get that, but uh, anything you can kind of do to kind of make the performance a little more consistent a little earlier on potentially. You know what? That's that's something that that uh, that has really puzzled me a little bit. Going back and, and trying to uh, put my finger on why is it that uh, you know earlier in the season our stats aren't as good as as later in the year. I do know this. I, I know that that uh, that our guys work hard, and when they build up a, a number of reps over the course of the season, they don't uh, they don't let up as the season goes on. They continue to get better. They continue to get smarter. They continue to get better at the angles of the game. And uh, and then maybe as coaches, we learn a little bit more about them and, and uh, you know, what they play better. We've got a lot of different coverages that, 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 uh, that we play. And, you know, sometimes you're, you, you find out about your defense as the season goes on, on, on what they're going to be a little bit better at. And it's not the same every year. So it's a, it's a different uh, it's a different makeup of, uh, of personnel. And as you get used to those guys, you, you get a little bit better feel of, of how, you know, uh, how they're going to react and how quickly they're going to uh, play certain uh, certain defenses. And, um, you know, I, I think that we we all look at, you know, what, uh, what the beginning of the year has been these last couple of years. I think the two years previous to that, we started off really fast, you know, defensively and, and – uh, you know, got after it, but um, I don't know. We'll see. I think uh, I like, you know, I like what we're doing right now defensively against our offense, and, and we're learning about, uh, you know, the toughness of, of, of our team, evaluating that well. And then, uh, you know, as, uh, as we go on, we'll, we'll get better and better at, uh, at the other type of, of offenses. You know, the, uh, whenever you get three wides or empty sets or quads and, and things like that, we'll, uh, we'll get better at that as well. And uh, Coach Woody, you know, um, the first couple of years you were here, 
Um, you were, you were extremely successful and, and you lost a number of your position coaches and staff members uh, to different opportunities throughout the country. Uh, Coach Wood, Coach Gasparato, a couple other key folks. But um, you've started to get some stability on the defensive staff and, and you have some guys with a lot of experience. Like you mentioned, Coach Dixon earlier, Coach Luce, who's been around the program for a really long time. Um, talk a little bit about your, your staff, um, you know, the position coaches, uh, what you see is some of their strengths. I know, you know, Daryl Dixon, again, if, if we kind of want to start with him, uh, has been with the program quite a while and I think uh, has gotten the title of uh, passing game coordinator with the defense now. So uh, just talk a little bit to your staff and what you see as some of their strengths at each position. I can't say enough about our defensive staff. I, I, I love working with those guys every day. They, uh, uh, when, when we sit in a staff room, they, uh, they all have ideas. They're not scared to, to share. Uh, and, and we sit in there and we go through and we, we learn how to solve problems together. And when, uh, when you got a whole staff together, you know, working to solve problems, it's a whole lot better than just one guy saying, let's do this or let's do that. And, uh, so I really like working, uh, with our defensive staff. Coach Dixon is, is outstanding. He handles our, uh, you know, our past defense and, and just does a tremendous job with that. We've been ranked, uh, you know, as high as second uh, uh, in the country nationally and, and uh, uh, third. Uh, we've also been in the top uh, 20, I think, 18th, uh, you know, as far as uh, past defense. So, uh, you know, I, I don't think he gets enough credit. I think he does a tremendous job in, in, in getting us to where uh, we know how to uh, play the strengths of, of uh of the routes for, for who we're facing and understands how to limit our weaknesses as well. So just uh, hats off to, uh, to coach Dixon just does a tremendous job and coaching the corners as well. He's really, uh, you know, gotten guys to, to step up and, and deliver. And I think uh, Danny Verpel is, uh, is coaching our safeties. And, and Danny is, is a guy that, that was a coordinator before he came here. Uh, he spent a little time here, you know, a few years ago, but uh, but went off and 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 had a coordinator role at at uh, Kansas State, and and uh, uh, he's a guy with with a great deal of experience and understands, you know, the big picture, you know, as far as the the safeties are involved and and how to uh, uh, you know come up with some of the blitzes that that uh, uh, you know may be good for us as well because he's had that coordinator experience, and then. Uh, you know, I think uh, Coach Weaver, you know, Juice is 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 a guy that has been a head coach at at uh, at our prep school. Yep. He's been coordinator at the at the prep school, and when he steps in here, he understands you know the whole makeup of the defense. He uh, uh, the, the the guys love it. You know, he's just a, a great personality. He cares about uh, his players, and he does a, a does a really good job of, of coaching up those uh, those inside linebackers. They uh, they really stepped up as the season went on. Uh, this past season, so really, uh, really fortunate to have him back again this uh, this year, and uh, you know, and then I think uh, you know Coach Cronin uh, coaches our defensive line and and has had, I mean, he's been just like a coordinator at uh, at other places. He just, uh, I don't know that I've ever been around a D line coach that knows so much about the whole defense, whether it's uh, whether it's coverage or or uh, linebacker fits or. Or just the, the the whole thing. He is is a very intelligent uh, coach that that um, you know does a great job with our defensive line. Gets the most out of those guys and and uh, you know helps put together you know a lot of our our run defense and and uh, and also you know our um, you know how to how to break down the pass protections and how we're going to attack the, uh, the the quarterback in in, in that. And then Coach Luce has, has been a long time coordinator as well. So when when everybody is sitting in in that staff room, you you got uh, you got a great uh, collective uh, uh, group of men that 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 know how. To... Uh oh, still there, Coach Woody? Rose off. Looking forward to to the next one. You know, Jimmy uh, Charlo is gone now, and he'll. I, I have no doubt that. Uh, you know, Coach Luce will, will have somebody at that uh, at that Apache position, and right now I think uh, uh, you know Chance is 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 working there, and uh, he's he's doing it. He's doing a really good job. So uh, again, I can't say enough about uh, about Coach Luce and the job he does.
Good stuff. Well, that, that's certainly a great, very experienced defensive staff. Uh, Coach Woody, best of success to you throughout the rest of spring practice. And as we head into the fall, uh, feel free to, to come over and talk to us at GBK anytime. I, I tell people this all the time to this day, including my interviews with Coach Munkin, Tina Servacio, Cole Christensen, you still have the number one numbers on YouTube on GBK for best, uh, highest rated interview. So our fans love you. So thank you very much for the time. We really appreciate it. Go Army, beat Navy.